we're in Crystal River. I'm with <laughs> Monkey. I'm ready to go in. <laughs> we just stopped at a place called the Cattle or something. What was it? No, what was it? Anyway, we, I was in, I was in the mood for some damn barbecue. We go to this place. It's 3:30 ish, and they're still serving lunch. Okay. And only, it's a steakhouse and they only had two steaks they had no prices on the menus we ordered our drinks we was looking over the menus and really all they had was was like a tuna sandwich and they only had three sides and I was like man I was in the mood for barbecue well our drinks already came and we just had two sodas two pops and uh, she had a diet coke and I had a regular coke and and uh, that was five something so we left there and we're coming over here to this other steakhouse it's supposed to be good barbecue smokehouse place so this is in the dying mall which is right over there is where we're going in uh, we filmed this once before but we're going to check it oops we're going to check it out again then I may go over here and price some hubs for the boat so monkey's got her camera so we're gonna go in here and check it out and hopefully our food will be good here yay yay But as you can see, I mean, there was a guy sitting over here. Wow. And then there's me. There's a couple people in there. There's Monkey over there. She's waiting. We got her mom a burger to go, so she's waiting on that. There's Monkey. <laughs> on her phone, of course. Oh, I think there it is. Yeah, there's the burger. Great place. If you guys are down here in Florida around Crystal River. Oh, oh shoot. Lights are flickering. Hardwood Smokehouse. It's in the Crystal River Mall. The Dying Mall. And I know it's playing some music, so I don't know if I'll be able to monetize this. Ooh, lightning or not, but so we're gonna walk around. I think she's gonna do a vlog too. This place is really awesome, guys. It's a shame it's dying out. You know, 
Now look at the. Oh, my phone went off. Some kick ass lightning. Wow. Alright, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, there's Rural King down there, which they got the gates down. And uh, the lights are flickering. The huh? No recordings. No recordings, why? It's outside the building out there if you want to take a look at it. Wow. Uh, Alright. Hey, All right. how are you? Yeah. That's my uh well, let me tell you. Uh -huh. Who's they? Manager. Oh. Oh, manager. Whatever. I'm fine. We look at everything done. I mean we're out in public, right? Like the rules of the mall. The rules of the mall yeah. supersede the laws of the state of Florida? I'm, I'm not looking to argue, sir. Look, I'm not arguing. I'm asking a question. You're the one arguing. I'm asking you a simple question. But it's public. It's public. No, this is public property. Whatever. Then I'll go outside and film. You can't say nothing out there. Is she allowed to use her phone? Is she allowed to use her phone in here? She can't use her phone. That's her trying to record the She's talking on her phone. Asshole. I need to give me a security shirt and push people around too. something wrong here? Why? We're just waiting for the rain. Oh, no bad. need to be standing, you know. He's still standing here like an idiot. But that's probably why they didn't let me come because it was in the villages and they dropped me. So I don't know why they dropped me. They, some people, they put the management sometimes in these offices and they don't know me. and. So, I, I, I heard really great time that they hired somebody else. Really? Oh, yeah? You don't have to just go in the truck. Come on, look over. No, I'm waiting on you. Well, you don't need to stay in there like he's an asshole or something. Fucking asshole stand there like I'm breaking some kind of law or something. Oh, shit. So they, did they hire somebody else? I'm standing there and stare at me. Apparently. You don't want to go out now. Uh, no, it's oh, we got to. We're being kicked out. Yeah. For filming. In public. Yeah. Okay, I will. I'm sorry you went through all that. I've been having... What? 
You're kidding me. Okay, I'm outside. That guy's an asshole yeah. right there. All right, so if you come here, try don't film because he's trying to say it's illegal, so whatever. All right, so anyway, yeah. we gotta go to the That's truck. Truck That's what right my here. parent, my mom's got is the ones in the villages, so. But well, I'll kick you back on when we get in the truck. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, so we're leaving. We were staying outside waiting on the rain to calm down. Yeah. And I don't know, I turned you back on, I think. I don't even know where I'm going. And, um, so anyway. I think I can go out this Anyway. Uh, so we're standing outside then, waiting on the rain to calm down so we go get in the truck. And he comes out and said, uh, the manager wants you guys to leave the premises. I said, we are, we're waiting on the rain. Well, she wants you to leave now. I said, why does she want us to leave the premises? And he said, I don't know. He flat said, I don't know. You don't know why we're being asked to leave. Well, because you were filming. Well, I'm like, all right, okay, so I'm allowed to film outside. That's public. If I run through there naked, what am I going to get arrested for? Public indecency. So it's public. So, you know, they're, you know, private property, but it's public. Okay, so no matter who owns it, it's in the public. It's in the eye of the public. So here's the thing. They can put up all the signs they want about filming, but they need to do their, their homework because, you know, I mean, you just can't just tell people what to do because you got a fucking black shirt on that says security and then stand there and stare at somebody so I mean it's a shame too you know it's a dying mall and then they kick you out because you're filming in public you know it's ridiculous man these people what what do they not want us to see or film I mean you know what <laughs> It's a dying mall, who gives a shit? I've never been asked to quit filming in a mall in my life. Private property or not, it's still in the eye of the public. Because the public is allowed to be in there. So this guy just, you know, I'm just doing what I'm told. No, he just thinks because he wears a shirt that says security, he's a badass. I don't think he called anything. I think he was pretending. I don't care if he did or not. <laughs> You know, I don't care if he was pretending or not. He's not going to tell me what I can and can't do in public. You know, I know more of the laws than he does. And people like that definitely should know your rights and, and you know, the laws. That's you know crazy. what I mean? He, they're, they're, That's my First Amendment right that they're trying to take away from me. And that's fucking bullshit, you know? So, everybody, stand up for your First Amendment right. Don't let somebody push you around. Fuck that. And then Monkey's like, go go on, go ahead to the truck. It's pouring down rain, go ahead to the truck so you don't get in trouble. I ain't gonna get in trouble. <laughs> because I know my First Amendment right, and I know the law says that's private that's private property, but you are in the eye of the public because public go in there. And I spent my hard earned money at a restaurant in there just a few minutes ago. Yeah. And it's a shame that they kicked me out because now well, we just, I probably won't go back to that restaurant and they lose business and they're already in trouble as it is. Okay, all right. Food. Okay, but Absolutely all right. Good okay, but that's a different story. But the point is, is yeah, they start kicking people out of there, then they can't go to that restaurant. That's right. And that's fucking bullshit for the restaurant. Yeah. You know? That's bullshit. Like like I ain't allowed to record in that restaurant. Bullshit. They need to do some searching and people need to start standing up for your first, second, all of our men, amended rights. All of them, you know? The problem is they're not being taught properly in school and people don't know it and then they grow up and That's they, right. they know something. That's they right. They're not being something. taught. No. They're not being taught their amendment, first, first amendment right, second amendment right, third amendment right. They're not being taught their rights because nobody fucking knows them and nobody wants to stand up for them, but yet everybody will go, well, that's bullshit. Well, yeah, it's bullshit that you live here in America and you don't want to stand up for your rights. Bullshit. You know, I mean, there's a difference between private property in your own home or private property when you have a public business. Like I said, if I run through there naked or if I'm walking around there drunker than hell, 
you know? Yeah. They can arrest me for public intox because I'm in the public, in the eye of the public, whether it's on private property or not. So. I mean, you're out in public. I'm not going to be pushed around. Yeah, we've got flashing lights. All right, guys, I'll be back with you shortly. Mm, here we go. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> How did you do that on the screen? Yeah. I don't know. And what star do you want? One Hang on. <laughs> I wish I had zero. <laughs> One star and tell him you wish you could go zero. So we just pulled in. We're at the house. Mm -hmm. we, we just pulled in and she got a thing asking how the Crystal River Mall was. Right. So she's going to fill it out right now. Well, I, I can only go to one. So one. That's <laughs> the worst. <laughs> and what would you like me to say? It just says I'm like, well, I wish they had zero stars <laughs> option, and just explain to them what's what's going on. Because though she's she's Canadian, she has a dual citizenship, so she has as many rights as I do. And she didn't know it till just now, did she? <laughs> she said, "You better look it up." So I did. So I, I don't think they 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 want to get that involved because uh, she'll call the MC, won't you? And mm -hmm. tell him that she was denied a First Amendment right being a citizen here in the United States. I, I don't think they, they want to start that over a stupid-ass little fucking mall who don't know their... I mean, that just goes to show that he don't even know his rights, and he's trying to tell me about mine. And he, right. <laughs> I'll be back with you, and we'll, we'll tell you what she said. Okay, so I think we're a little fogged up here. Anyway, this is what she wrote. I wish they had zero stars. We were going to video the mall, which has a cool roof. We were told by the security guard that we could not film. Because of private property, as a Canadian with a dual citizenship, I have the rights to like it, just like Americans, avoid this mall and find one that is friendly and hospitable. There you go. All right. But other than that, the restaurant was good. Too bad. You know, it's like, you know, we want to go back to the restaurant, but we don't want to go to that fucking mall, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it is just bullshit because, you know, people don't know their rights. And if anybody should know rights, it should be a security guard, a law enforcement officer, which they don't even know their own rights, let alone ours. They're supposed to uphold our rights, not, you know, try to take them away like the First Amendment right. You know, that's that's our right to film in public. That's that's, you know, the freedom of press, freedom of speech. You know, I mean, it's no different if you're in the eye of the public, whether it's on private property or not. I mean, anybody can sit right out here on this street and videotape and take all the pictures they want of this house because it's in the eye of the public. Now, the public's not allowed in the house, so no. But if you if you have a mall, even though it's private property, it's in the eyes of the public. They can they can put all the rules and regulations they want, but rules and regulations um, do not supersede the laws in the United States, right? Yep. So, anyway, that was our day. Never a dull moment. Just try to go get something to eat, and, and we get, you know, no matter what, it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand it because all all we would have done is is maybe helped them, you know, bring in more people to, because yeah. it is a cool mall. Yeah. It's just it's sad. They do call it the dead mall, and it's a it's, dying mall. Yeah, yeah, and it's sad, and it's all over YouTube. It's just that the security guard got caught us, I guess. Well, and we have been in there before. Well, I've I've filmed I've, I've I did a whole a whole film in there. Nobody ever said a damn word to me. It's no. public. Mm -mm. It's public. I don't care about the property or who owns. It. If yeah. you open your doors up to the public, they're allowed to film. Yeah, if we if we have if we have a sale inside the house for the public to come in and buy stuff, yeah. we can't say anything about them filming. Yeah, but yeah, because we have opened our doors to the public. They need to be educated more. Yes, people need to be educated more. A lot more. Because 
it's sad that police don't even know their amendment yeah. rights. And, and and they should, of all people, yeah. they should know them. And they're the first ones out. to try to take, just like that crash. Yeah. When you was on the phone with the with the dispatch, he's telling you to tell me to go in the house. Yeah. Uh -huh, nope. Yeah. I'm not hindering nobody's investigation. Yeah. I'm on my property yeah. filming across the street. Mm -hmm. That's my first amendment right. They can't make me go inside the house because I was not, you know... I don't it's know. just no hell things no. have really changed it's no it has it, weird no that well it hasn't changed it's the people have changed because you know they don't want you know like law enforcement don't want you to know your rights yeah yeah you they know just because they, you they got a badge and they just want to yeah. be able to push people around and tell people what to do and that's not that's what our amendment rights do yeah. is supposed to protect us so we can be free yeah well, you know, and I'll be damned if anybody's going to take any of my rights away from me. I'm. It's. It's not it's just not going to happen. Especially her with dual citizenship. Yeah. She has every every bit of rights as I do. Yeah. And she didn't know that, so now she knows. She's like, well, I can't get in trouble. I'll be deported. She ain't going to get in trouble for you know sticking up for your rights, and we all should do that. So guys, please stick up for your rights. Right, Mama? What yeah. you doing? Oh, I'm doing a review on the Vance toy. Oh yeah, yeah. them they, guys they are were awesome. Great. Yeah, awesome people. They've helped me so much. They, I really appreciate them. Yeah, and they I go into different counties. Use them because They're, of it. Yeah, they go yeah. all over uh, yeah. Central Florida. So if you guys are in Central Florida, you need a tow or something. Yeah, um, great they do people. a great job. They'll get there. They're on time. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, they just do a great job and very reasonable on price. You and know. they did more we than had, over and beyond. We had the boat towed. It was uh, thirty-three miles. It cost one hundred forty-five dollars. The first person I called because I thought, well, let's just call somebody here so they can get here quicker. It was going to be two hundred fifty-seven dollars. It was sixty-eight dollars just to put it on the truck. Yeah. And then they was going to charge a uh, um, a surcharge on the fuel and all this. Well, we called our buddies here. They, were, they had a guy here. He said, well, he's just dropping one now, and he can be on his way. He can be there in 45 minutes. He was there in about 45 minutes. Well, he said about an hour and a half, just to be sure, but he was there in about 45 minutes. So he dropped dropped the vehicle here in town and went and picked up the boat for us. So, yeah, advanced towing. Uh, great job, guys. They have uh, two rollbacks. I know they have a wrecker. Mm -hmm. They are towing and recovery. So, yeah, yeah, they'll come and pull you out of a ditch or whatever. They are AAA approved. Yeah. So, yeah, they're awesome. So, that's what she's doing now. So, anyway, yeah. guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. That's our vlog for today. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys. Stay tuned. We'll see more adventures. Yeah. Well, we, well, we, we don't create these. They just happen. They come around. to us. I know. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. I don't even leave the house so and they're in my front yard. She's got some video that she's going to post, so check her channel out. Um, <laughs> Not much. I'll have, I'll have a link, you know, right here on the screen somewhere here. You can click on and it'll take you right to her channel at the end of this video. So, <laughs> and I'll have a playlist and, you know, put up there. So, check her out. She'll, she'll put what she's got anyway up, right? Yeah, ain't much. Because he cut me off, and <laughs> then I got a phone call, so that yeah. didn't help well, me either. They didn't cut me off. I just what I did was you can pull the eyepiece out on here, the viewfinder. You can pull it out, close your screen, and it'll still be recording. So that's what I did. So, mm. and then the guy just kept standing there, standing there. Oh, then yeah. we're asked, we're being asked to leave for what? And I was on the phone. Yeah, I was talking to yeah. a. Patient. patient of mine that called me and I'm talking and it's pouring out so I figure well we'll wait until it stops raining and I'll talk to them and he's listening to my private conversation yep. with my patient yep that's the privacy act so yeah. you know he, we should he, sue his stupid little ass yeah. and then say there dude now now maybe you better learn <laughs> okay yeah. guys we'll see you soon shape of myth main legend i'm gone for now check out monkey 1000 oh yeah have a great day <laughs> and we'll see you guys soon bye bye and take care